Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limble's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about how to add vendors to Limble from the desktop and mobile app. The vendors page is your digital Rolodex of individuals or companies that provide labor, parts, and other goods to your organization. Cataloging your vendors in Limble allows you to quickly and easily compare rates between vendors for both parts and labor, select default vendors for purchasing and tasks, and share tasks with vendors in your network to perform their assigned work and maintain their work history within your Limble account. Let's get started. To begin, I need to get to the Manage Vendors page. There are a couple of ways to do this. From the global dashboard, you can click on your location and from the new page, select Vendors. You can also select the Locations tab, click on your desired location and click on Vendors. On the new page, select Add a Vendor. Next, name your vendor. This is usually the company name. In this example, I'm adding an HVAC vendor who will service my units and sell filters to my organization. If you wish to add a vendor with similar information, you can select a copy of an existing vendor, which will pull information from a vendor you already have in your account to create a similar entry. Otherwise, keep a blank vendor selected. Once you've named your vendor, click Add. You'll be taken to the vendor card, where you can add the vendor contact information. Limble offers email, phone number, address, and contact as default fields. If you plan to associate your vendor with tasks and purchasing, we recommend including a person of contact and email address, as these are commonly used to communicate about purchase orders and share tasks through Limble. From here, you can add additional information using custom fields. You may want to add a secondary contact or upload the agreements you have with your vendor. To do this, select Add Field. In the new pop-up, make sure Create New Field is selected. Then name your field. I'll call this Vendor Agreement. Then select your field type. Since this is a file, I will be choosing the Documents field type. Field types cannot be changed once they've been created, so be careful when deciding which field type you need. Then click Create. Now that it's been created, I can upload my Vendor Agreement. Now we have a new custom field. Keep in mind that these fields will be available for future use. As you add additional vendors, you can select from the custom fields you've created to build out new vendor profiles in Limble. Once you've added their info, you can exit the vendor card or continue to add more custom fields. Within the vendor card, there's a lot of great information you can view and configure about associated tasks, parts, purchasing, and more. Let's take a look at each tab of the vendor card. The first tab is Shared Tasks. Shared Tasks is where you'll see open tasks currently assigned to this vendor and completed tasks that this vendor has performed work on. You can search for and filter tasks here with similar functionality to the Manage Work page. You can also start a work order and share it automatically with your vendor. Next is Assets. This is where you'll find assets that are associated with this vendor. Vendors are automatically associated with assets that are tied to tasks they've performed work on. For example, let's say that this vendor services your HVAC unit. You share a monthly task with the vendor to service HVAC Unit 1. Once the task has been assigned, HVAC Unit 1 will automatically be associated with this vendor and show here. You can also manually associate assets here by clicking Associate Assets. Next is Parts. This is where you'll associate parts with this vendor by clicking Associate Parts. This allows you to track the unique part number and price for this vendor. You'll also find your purchase history of parts here. By selecting the caret icon to expand your options, you can review the PO. Next is the Log tab, where you'll find your vendor history. You can view the log, add additional records, and even attach files. The final tab is POs. This is where you can view and search for all current and completed POs associated with this vendor. Now that you know what to do on desktop, let's take a look at this on mobile. Log into the Limble app on your mobile device or tablet. Under the search header, click on Vendor. From the new screen, click Create Vendor. As we did on desktop, let's name this vendor. In this example, this is a new electrician we're going to work with. The main difference you'll see between your desktop options and the mobile app is that you have the option to choose the vendor location if you have more than one on your account. You will still have the option to create a whole new vendor or use an existing vendor. I'll create a blank one here. Then click Add. 
We're at the vendor card again and have the same functionalities we have in the desktop app. I'll add a new custom field for a secondary contact by selecting Add Field and making sure to select Create New Field. I'll name it Secondary Contact and use the text category for my information type. Then click Create. I'll populate the field with the contact name and then exit the vendor card. Now I can look up my vendor and see that it's there with the other vendors at this location. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center, reach out to our support team, or talk to your dedicated Limble CSM to learn more.